Hello, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Let us learn from number 18 of this Kyoten today. Uh, starting from today up until number 40, it's going to be concrete examples of what type of health beasts there are. Number 18. Here we go. Those who are lazy will become a skinny horse, carrying a heavy burden on their back, wandering endlessly along a maze of mountain paths. Number 18. Those who are lazy will become a skinny horse, carrying a heavy burden on their back, Wandering endlessly along a maze of mountain paths. Thank you, Master Okawa. All right. Uh, so starting today to number 40, let's learn what sort of consequences awaits if we live a certain way. Uh, if you were a lazy person, can that end up in hell? Yes. Why? Well, I was thinking this, and I'm um, trying to like pull out all, all of the master's teachings that I've read and studied so far. One thing that came to my mind was it goes against the purpose of life. Uh, God, El Kantari, the eternal Buddha, designed this three-dimensional world uh, so that we are born and the, for two reasons, right? One is for soul training to solve the pro workbooks, uh, workbooks of your life. And then secondly, it is to help create a Buddha land utopia or to help create a better world here on this planet Earth. So contribution, contribution, contributing to this world in a positive way. These are the two purposes of life. If you're lazy, it means that you have not taken the will, you have not used your willpower and you have not made the endeavor or the efforts to solve the problems of your life, and two, um, you didn't do anything to make this world a better place. And that leads to hell? It actually does. Because, you know, um, in one of the creation stories, the teachings that Master's given us, when human beings were created, Master's taught us that we were given with the purpose of wanting to grow, wanting to develop and prog progress and to prosper. That is actually the true joy for our souls. Growth is true joy, and growth is true happiness, and growth is heavenly um, in the teachings of happy science. I mean, what I mean by growth is like spiritual growth, right? So if you go against it, that's stagnation. You didn't do anything. God has given us every single day precious time to live, but it's like, giving, it's like being given 24 golden coins every day, and you just threw it into the swamp. That that's wasting the time that God has given to you. So then, go back. Going back to the sentence, how scary is that, right? How do you reap the consequences of being lazy? You are forced to turn into a skinny horse, carrying a heavy burden on your back. Um, that's probably the burden of your sin. I don't know. And then wandering endlessly along a maze of mountain paths. So you're just walking around in a dark place, in a hill, maybe cold, um, very dark, very scary. You're alone and you're wandering around, not even knowing the purpose of it. It's painful because you're carrying a heavy, heavy burden and your legs are, I don't know, it could be bleeding and you're a horse, you're not a human being anymore. And you're just wandering forever and ever and ever until you awaken to the fact that there must have been something wrong in the way I used to live. And then once you start reflecting on yourself, we can go back up to heaven. Uh, so that was the first one of the details of the Hell of Beasts. Thank you very much. Uh, let's move on to the second one tomorrow. Thank you very much. Bye.